There is a book by Shel Silverstein, illustrated and written by Shel Silverstein. A giraffe and a half. If you had a giraffe and he stretched another half, you would have a giraffe and a half. If he put on a hat and inside lived a rat, you would have a giraffe and a half with the rat and his hat. If you dressed him in a suit and he looked very cute, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit. If you glued a rose to the tip of his nose, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose. If a bumble old bee stung him right on the knee, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee. If he put on a shoe and then stepped in some glue, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, looking cute in a suit, with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe. If you gave him a flute and he played tutti too, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe, playing toot on a flute. If he used a chair to comb his hair, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and on his knee and some glue on his shoe, playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair. If he tripped on a snake who was eating some cake, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his head, looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake-eaten cake. If he found an old trunk and inside was a skunk, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe, playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a truck. If he met a fat dragon who sat in a wagon, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his head, looking cute in a suit, with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe, playing toot on a flute, with a chair in his hair and a snake in cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon. If he jumped on a bike and rode over a spike, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his head, looking cute in a suit, with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe, playing toot on a flute, with a chair in his hair and a snake in a cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike. If a blubbery whale got a hole of his tail, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his head, the 
looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale in his tail if he fell in a hole that was dug by a mole you would have a giraffe and a hell with a red in his head looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing tut on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale on his tail in a hole with a mole but if you brought him a pole to climb out of the hole and then, then the whale left his tail and went off for the mail. And he gave the spiked bike to a scout on a hike and he left the fat dragon cause his wagon was sagging and he gave his chair to a tired old bear and he traded the flute to a bird for some fruit and he told that old snake to go jump in the lake and the man who bought junk bought the trunk with a skunk and he gave the rose to a girl he chose while the bee on his knee flew away with a flea and he put the shoe with the glue on you and that silly old rat ran away with his hat and he put his suit in the laundry chute and he shrank another half you would have a giraffe